Goal seven is all about translating. So being able to take these expressions and turn them into words, take words, turn them into expressions. So I'm trying to match the left side with the right side. And I'm gonna start with the right side because there aren't as many of them. Clearly I won't use all of these, so I've gotta pick. Uh, three less than a number n. See that less than, that means I need to have the three at the end. So that top one matches that one. The quotient of a number three, the quotient tells me division, so I'm looking for division. There are two division problems here, n divided by three or three divided by n. Since it's the quotient of a number and three, three came second, so three is going to go in the denominator. And finally, the product of three in a number. Product means multiplication. I'm multiplying three times n, right there. And that's how I would match up number 14. 15 and 16, I'm going to scoot down, give myself a little space. 15, write an expression to model this scenario. They're giving us a hint here with the expression. It means I don't need an equal sign. The yellow jacket scored seven more than, more than, that's telling me addition, twice the number, ooh, twice the number, that's telling me that I need to multiply by two, as the other team, so the number of points that the other team scored, that's gonna be my X. So, I'm going to take that number X and multiply it by two. So we've got two times X and seven more than means I need to add seven. So you write this the other way around with seven plus. I'm not gonna be wrong. It's a good habit to get into though. The more than and the less than, that flips the order. Finally, number 16. Given twice the sum of a number and three is 20, write the equation algebraically. Again, they're giving us a hint here, equation, and that equation is represented by the is the equal sign. Write the equation algebraically. So twice the sum of a number, all right, so we've got that twice again, that's telling us to multiply by two. The sum of a number and three is 20. All right, we're gonna go with, um, we've gotta find the sum of a number in three, and then I've got to double it. So the sum of a number in three is going to be x plus three. If you use n instead, you're just fine. You can use any variable you would like. And then after I find that sum, I need to double it. So that means multiply it by two, and then is is the equals 20. And now I've got to solve this equation. I'm going to start by simplifying it, which I will distribute. <clears throat> 2 times x, 2x, 2 times 3, 6, equals 20. Uh, now I've got a two-step, boom. I'm going to subtract the 6 on both sides, leaving me with 2x equals 14. And when I divide by 2, I end up with x is equal to 7. We've got a redemption problem where we have a verbal model of an equation. It's given that it's an equation. Uh, you've got to write it and solve it. If you're ready for a challenge, I feel like it's pretty easy, take a look at that challenge. The challenge problem is going to give you variables on both sides. 